Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to João Almeida's Pro Cyclist Mode here on PCM and uh, first of all let me tell you if you did not watch the last three episodes of this series I should tell you that you need to watch that because there was an amazing Giro d'Italia that we have so go and watch that before this because you're not going to miss that, you're not going to want to miss that of course because it was a very good year the Italia for us and yeah after that of course come and see this video because today we have three more races and the first one is already as you can see right here the Moventu challenge show it's basically a stage where we're going to climb the Moventu in the end and uh, basically it's a mountain race and uh, yeah João Maida who is not the best on mountain let's see how the hell is going to do here on the race but yeah it's going to be a race for the climbers this one and then let's go to the calendar and see that we have the national championships there is right we have the portuguese time trial and we have the portuguese road championships and of course we are the national champion so we are here to defend our national road title and uh, on the time trial who knows if we can win that time trial and become the new uh, individual time trial champion I don't know but yeah of course we are going to try to get those titles to us and uh, but first we have the moment of challenge and as I said it is a very difficult race and yes a big names around here let's see who are they and yeah David Godou, Roman Bardet, Togor, Gennart, Guillaume Martin, Daniel Martin as you can see a lot of great names here Germaya as well and of course João Maida is here with the favorites so at least we are here on the top 10 I believe of, of the favorites which is a good thing of course so yeah let's go to the race and see how is the shape for João Maida and see if we can uh, try to get a good result here and so guys here we are for the race and we are a leader in our team and our objective is to be on the top 10 so yeah João Maida with a minus one day which is not the best of course but still it's not that of an impact on our stats which is a good thing so yeah let's see what is going to happen and let's see if João Maida can get that top 10 and oh my god guys João Maida has just fallen what the hell just happened? I was fast forwarding and João Maida just got in the crash with Guillaume Martin. And now my guys will not wait for me. This is it really. Come on guys, just wait for me please. Coffee is waiting for Guillaume Martin as always. But I don't see anyone from my team waiting for me. What is this? This is unacceptable. I'm the leader. Come on guys well at least i have the the help of the coffee this team because all of the team of Guillaume martin got behind to help him instead of my teammates who did not did that i don't know why but yeah i'm the leader why the hell did they not waited for me because since i'm the leader just like the coffee these guys did i don't understand it but oh well at least i have some help here with these guys let's hope that we can get in time onto the peloton so we can fight for the finish and guys we are 46 kilometers away from the finish of the the race and as you can see multiple groups are behind already because we have this steep little climb here in the middle of the the race and yeah João Mede is not looking good so far because we are still a bit behind from the peloton and of course I'm wasting energy because I'm following the coffee guys and yeah, I don't know if we're going to fight for victory because it's not looking good for João Maida. And so guys, you are 23 kilometers away from the finish line and we are one minute and a half just away from the peloton. But it seems that more groups are, are forming behind the peloton. So yeah, we are two minutes down from the peloton. This is not looking good. I don't think we can get into the peloton in time for the climb. So yeah. I think this is a good buy for João Almeida. And so guys, we are already on the climb and in the front someone is attacking. Roman Bardet is attacking as well, so yeah. Everybody is attacking. João Almeida is in the back. 
no victory for us let's try and see what's happening in the front of the peloton and it is David Godou, Roman Bardet, same woman who are trying to get away from the peloton and so guys besides all the things that already happened right now I'm losing energy because I'm following Guillaume Martin and I cannot handle no more the rhythm that he has and let's see he's already out of energy as well as we can see so yeah we cannot do much either and I think this is it for us we are very far behind and in the front 8 kilometers to go let's see who is the front and it's David Godou the leader right now I don't know the advantage that he has but it seems that he have a lot of advantage so yeah maybe he's going for the win and here it is guys David Godou all alone is the winner of the Moven 2 challenge what a great win by David Godou all alone and uh, I don't know where the hell is the second place right now as you can see they are all behind and uh, yeah let me just change oh my god there it is and it is Roman Bardet with almost I don't know two minutes be behind so yeah Tao Goganart and all of the rest are coming now and yeah João Maida where the hell is he he's still one kilometer away and as you can see I don't have energy and we still managed to get a 13th place so maybe we could have got that top 10 if we follow Guillaume Martin but we don't have the energy to do that and therefore just a top 15 and so guys it's not a great start of this episode really Joao Maida with a crash and uh, we just finished on the 13th position as the, we have the objective to do a top 10 so yeah we didn't did the objective so that is a not that is not a good thing of course but let's just rewind for a little bit we had a crash and uh, before the climb started the last one we were behind the peloton so we overcame almost all of the peloton just to reach on a 13th position so we overcame basically almost everyone in the stage so that is in some way that is a very good uh, a very good uh, race and a very good climb for João Maida and Guillaume Martin as well the guys that crash in some way you can say that it was a very good uh, very good day because we did a very good climb and a very good race but of course we didn't do the objective we didn't fight for the victory and that's not what we wanted of course but yeah let's just move on for the next race and so guys right now we have the national championship of Portugal it is the time trial so João Maida who looks very good on fitness and uh, if we go to the magazine we can see that we are one of the favorites uh, alongside Nelson Oliveira and uh, José Gonçalves let's see what can uh, João Maida do and uh, see if we can uh, be the new time trial champion I don't know but we'll see and so guys here we are João Maida is going to start his time trial and um, we have an objective to be on the top three of the, the, the race and we have a minus two there which is not that great of course so this is going to be difficult for us to do a good time trial but we'll see the time trial is basically a flat one and uh, yeah let's see how we're going let's see how are we going to to do and uh, if we are going to do a good time or not and so guys basically this is a mini circuit that we have here so the checkpoints are the finish line as well which is a bit odd but at some time at the same time it doesn't matter and John Maida, the 25 second that is losing on the first checkpoint which is not that great and behind us we have Nelson Oliveira so he's the guy to beat of course and let's just up the tempo a little bit here and uh, see if we can get a little better for the next checkpoint and so guys we are already losing one minute to Nelson Oliveira who is the first on the first checkpoint we are going for the second time here on the checkpoint and yeah Nelson Oliveira is right behind us he is making a very good um, the race and right now as you can see we are losing two seconds but already one minute 21 seconds losing to Nelson Oliveira because this guy is amazing right now and we need to step up if you want to try if you want to challenge for victory 
And so guys we are on the final meters of the time trial and Joao Maida is getting caught by Nelson Oliveira as we can see we are not doing a great job because we are going to lose to Nelson Oliveira and yeah there we go we were second place but Nelson Oliveira is the new or is still the national champion of individual time trial of Portugal. And so guys once again it was not our day but I'm a bit expecting this because we are just finished a three week race. Giro d'Italia it was very hard and therefore we are not on the best fitness right now and that is totally understandable. But yeah, and with that we still managed to make a second place although almost two minutes behind the first one but still there is a very good result. We did the objective that was the top three and we are almost there for the national champion on the time trial but not yet so yeah let's try on the world championship and so guys because of that objective that we got it we got more points which means now we are on level 21 so we have a skill point and then on level 22 we finally get to choose our improvement of attributes so that is very good and uh, let's spend the skill point and so guys for the skill point I'm going to choose the training because we are going to have better preparation so throughout the whole season we are not going to be that tired so we are going to get much better results and uh, that is a good thing of course so yeah I'm going to choose this one because yeah it means that we are going to be in more fitness throughout the whole season. And so guys this time it is the last race of this episode the national world championship of Portugal and as you can see by the terrain it is a very hilly terrain I don't know if it is the same one of the last season or not I cannot remember the the name of the city that we are ending on this time it is in Gondomar but yeah I'm not expecting that João Maida has the best fitness day but race the condition I should say but yeah Let's see what's going to happen uh, once again we are the favorites let's go and so guys here we are at the start of these national championships of Portugal we have a plus one day which is amazing and uh, it seems that this is the same parkour as last year so I think we're going to have the same parkour once again and so guys we are on the last 40 kilometers of the race and uh, I don't know what happened with the peloton because the breakaway got over 6 minutes and then I started to work because of course I didn't want to get a big gap from the breakaway and now the other teams are working as well that's what I like of course but yeah I was feeling a bit um, afraid because the breakaway got it a lot of time and yeah right now and thankfully they are working so yeah let's see if we can get the breakaway into the peloton and then fight for victory and now Ruben Guerrero is attacking and I'm following his wheel I don't know why the hell he's attacking so early but I'm doing that but it seems that we are not going anywhere because the peloton just reacted to that Johnny Brandão working on uh, on the front of the peloton but Ruben Guerrero with a bit of the lead but I'm not going to do anything because I don't want to waste my energy really I just stay here in the peloton and so guys Ruben Guerrero has just been caught by the peloton and uh, it seems that they stopped immediately and now the breakaway is gaining more time is over three minutes now and we are the last 20 kilometers of the race for them if this continues like this we cannot win it come on guys work on the peloton please I cannot do all the work I'm all alone you have a lot of guys in your teams work please and now attacks are occurring Jose Gonçalves, Ruben Guerrero and Rui Costa so basically the favorites are attacking I need to follow his will because they are a danger and they are attacking so let's just try to stay here with them I just maybe follow Jose Gonçalves, I don't know. And now it is Ruben Guerrero that is attacking and the other ones are following or they were following but they stopped. So Ruben Guerrero is going away. Now it is Figueiredo that is attacking. Oh my god, come on guys. I think the win is for the breakaway maybe, I don't know. We'll see. 
And so guys, last 10 kilometers for us, but the breakaway are already on the last 8 kilometers. This is not looking good. As I said, I don't think the win is from here. So yeah, now Jay Gonçalves is attacking, but I don't think we are going to get there in time. That is very sad, of course. The attacks are going to continue here, but it's not going to be enough. And so guys, last 5 kilometers for us. The breakaway is already on the last 2 kilometers, so it doesn't matter really, because we lost. Let's see in the front who it is. And uh, it seems it is Silva and Tiago Machado on the last kilometer. Maybe I should change for João Almeida, but I don't care. Let's just see the finish line. Oh my god. And it is for Freitas from, I don't know, the team. But Daniel Freitas is the winner of the National Championships of Portugal. Jack Gonçalves is attacking as well. Let's just follow his wheel, of course. And uh, yeah, see what we can do here. Although we are not going for the win, which is very, very sad. And not even on a top 20 we are going to end. Oh my god, we are not the national champion anymore. And so guys, after a year of wearing the national colors of Portugal, it's over. João Mendes is not the national champion anymore. It is Daniel Freitas, the new national champion from the Portuguese team Miranda Mortagua. Jorge Magalhães from W52 Football Club do Porto is the second place. And yeah, João Mendes on the 20th position, 2 minutes and t almost 30. So yeah, it's not, not great of course. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to fight for the, the victory at least. But it's very frustrating. Because the peloton did nothing, really. I had to do all the work and that is not not good, really. The, in this situation, I don't know what happened because I don't know if they have some guys in the front group and they don't work, some teams. I don't know what's going on here, but nobody worked and therefore we, we lost a bunch of time and we could not recover that. And yep, we are lost the jersey, so from here on now we are no longer the national champion. And of course we don't get any points because we didn't complete the objective. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame of course because I wanted to at least finish this episode with a good result. But in the end, it was a very bad episode. No wins, no good performance, just bad days. And in the end, I thought that this episode we would get uh, some good results and we have a second place on the time trial but still we didn't get a win so yeah it's a bit uh, a bit of a shame but yeah guys i hope you understand that we cannot do nothing more than this the peloton did not work so it is what it is and yeah next episode we have tour of poland and it is a very difficult one because we have a lot of hills um, we have a lot of hilly stages as we can see. Let's hope that we are on a better fitness, on a better rest day condition so that we can perhaps do a better job than we did here on this episode. So yeah guys, don't forget, leave a like and subscribe because it means a lot and this series is going very well really. I thank you so much for the support really. Stay safe. Bye bye.